Mr. Chairman, distinguished panelists, Your Excellency, members of the co friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm thankful to you for coming here, though I know quite a few more important events are taking place this evening. There is a launch of book on Prime Minister by the Finance Minister Arun Jetli at some one of the five star hotels. There is some function on Vivekanand Swami Vivekan Lalit Kala Academy. My special thanks to Chairman this evening, Ambassador Sibyl. He has been one of the most encouraging, considerate, generous supporter of IFA. He has never said no to me whenever I approached him. I'm equally thankful to all other panelists who have taken time off to be with us. Yes, BRICS is not in the headlines anymore, but it also shows how short term are the headlines. But nonetheless, BRICS is important. Portalaya Summit was a significant event, and I personally believe it was a successful summit. <clears throat> the creation of New Development, RCA, but concrete steps, some may call it baby steps, transforming it as one of the colleagues who is on the panel today said, is transforming it from a talking shop to something more concrete. There have been all kind of comments after the summit. One of the distinguished members of the IFS, one of the television program likened the summit to a children's birthday party where every child got a piece of cake and got some goodies to take home. Somebody else said, who is also on the panel, the Prime Minister shouldn't have gone to Fortaleza at all. Well, there are many comments. I will say we should not be too cynical, nor should be too euphoric or going overboard. Yes, it is not talking shop, but also to attribute so many adjectives, common vision, cooperation, coordination, non-Western global worldview, South, global South, all the other high-flown words. But devil is always in the detail when you analyze. Because one will like to ask that what is the common view of the BRICS on Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Libya, ISIS, maybe more, UN security reforms, UN security council reforms, WTO, climate change discussions. At WTO, India was the company of Cuba, Venezuela, Bolivia, none of the BRICS friends were there. So one has to take these things with a vision of salt. One would also like to know what is the common worldview of India and China, if there is any. One more thought that many persons have expressed apprehension or some concern about the China will dominate. Let us be realistic. China is the largest manufacturer in the world, is the largest exporter, the second largest economy in the world, which tipped to overtake US economy in a couple of years. It is there. Whether you like or don't like, brick or no brick, China is going to be dominating force with the resources which has the kind of economic advancement is made and also pile and pile of huge foreign exchange reserves it has. So we will see how these organizations like the New Deal of Bank and CRA perform in practice. But I, on the whole, think it is a great development. We must welcome it. As I said earlier, we shouldn't be too cynical or we shouldn't be too euphoric, thinking it will transform the whole international financial institutional structure, challenge the IMF World Bank. But it is an organization which has a huge potential and a lot of promise. I don't want to preempt the pieces what the panelists are going to say. Once again, I thank you all for coming here. I'm sure we are going to have very stimulating, meaningful, productive discussion. And now I hand over the proceedings to the chairman of this evening, Ambassador Kamal Sibba. Thank you very much.